A metro man is in jail after a string of catalytic converter thefts. He was caught on camera stealing from nearly a half a dozen cars in metro parking lots. News 4's Natalie Kleinsdale is on Crime Watch. Well, one man believed to be responsible for the thefts is now locked up in the Oklahoma County Detention Center. But police say they're still looking for others who may be involved and are asking anyone with any information to come forward. It's not just a, a, a one incident case. There are multiple, multiple cases. A metro man in jail after a string of catalytic converter thefts. And it can be costly for the victim. Court documents reveal Patrick Wilson allegedly caught on camera nearly a half a dozen times in the last few months, looting the pricey car part. Records showing that Wilson hit cars in parking lots at a Home Depot, Smith and Nephews twice, and an Academy Sports and Outdoors. And we're not done. There possibly could be more arrests in this case. Um, investigators are still working on it. It's still in, in the early to mid stages of the investigation. While this isn't a new crime, police say it's a growing one. We don't keep the numbers on it, but we know that they are prevalent. Which is why lawmakers actually took action this session to crack down on it. Here in my district, I was having several constituents reaching out to me, complaining about their uh, catalytic converters being stolen and how much it was costing them. House Bill 4373, authored by Representative Ross Ford, specifies that stealing catalytic converters is considered third-degree burglary. Punishment includes up to five years in prison and up to $5,000 in fines. It passed, overwhelmingly passed. And he hopes it deters the criminals. Hopefully they will uh, decide that, you know, it's not worth to commit crimes because I think that's what the people of Oklahoma want. They want a, a, a safe environment. Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. That new bill takes effect November 1st.